Oh man, this is the engine room dome? Oh no way, I thought this was the bathroom dome. <laughs> Anyways, hey everybody, the Gaming Guru Fine One here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we cleared up the bedroom dome, making us all caught up with all of the past domes. And in this episode, we can get back to the engine room dome and probably finish up this galaxy. So let's go ahead and have fun with toy time! Mario meets Mario. Now this is one of my favorite looking missions in the game. The mission itself is kind of alright, but the, the way it looks like that Mario right there is what I was so happy of seeing when I got here. I was like, oh my god, this game is so awesome because of that. I don't even know why. Probably because I like 8-bit Mario, I don't know. I mean, I played a lot of his games growing up when I was a kid. See, all three of the Super Mario Brothers games, so of course I'm gonna enjoy seeing that 8-bit greatness. All systems to go, why? Because I say so. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's clever, Toad. So let's go ahead and go move forward. How's everybody doing today? Today is uh, Monday morning, Monday afternoon. Uh, yeah, Monday, everybody goes back to school, uh, people got work, it's a, it's a crappy day itself. I don't know. So, in this planet, we are going to collect some star bits, and I do believe that on this planet, in this mission, there is a Hungry Luma that I think we just saw for a split second there. So we will have to come back to this mission at a later point, and, uh, get the Hungry Luma assorted and out of the way. So today was a pretty, um, a pretty productive day, actually. Usually I would spend my day being really lazy, but today I had a productive day. I did my laundry. I did meet my mom's laundry, because, um, as long as she pays the laundry, I do her laundry, which is, uh, it's a nice little trade-off. If she gives me the money to do it, then I, you know, it's cool. Why am I back up here? <laughs> so anyways, I did the laundry. I, um, and I think that's it. <laughs> Oh yeah, my day is really productive because all I did was laundry. Well, I'm actually going to Walmart later on today so I can um, get a freaking two fans in my... Why am I going here? Am I getting lost? Oh my god, I'm getting lost. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to Walmart so I can buy two fans for my room. One for each of my windows because maybe that will help me fix my heat problem. Because I think I mentioned in the last episode or whatever episode it was that I was having, I was complaining about my heat and how it's like 85 degrees in this room even when my AC's off. And the, the, um, for my AC, it's not really an AC because the connector, the tube thing that connects the, the AC to my window is broken. So I can't even put it in the window and get cold air. It's only on for the noise when I sleep because I can't sleep in silence, which is completely stupid. And, uh, so I'm going to Walmart later on to buy two fans and put them right on my window and blast those motherfuckers up to, like, three power the highest they can go so I can get some nice air. <laughs> Hopefully that will fix it. And if it doesn't, well, well, whatever. But if it does, then I'll be happy. Because then I won't need my AC in my room anymore and I can save up some room in the house. Because that thing's just sitting there blasting away and doing absolutely nothing. And wow, we got all the five silver stars, and I didn't even mention about this planet, how it's really cool looking. I already mentioned it before I got here. But the, it just looks really cool, even from this perspective of this closeness. So anyways, the star shows up all the way over here. And there you go. Very, very nice. Now, I really hope that the purple comet shows up in here, because although it is one of my favorites, it is also one of the hardest, I think. I mean, it's not that hard, but yeah, we'll talk about if it shows up, and if not, I'll just uh, talk about it some other time. 83 stars! We are more than two-thirds of the way done with this game on episode 21 of Mario Galaxy. That's ridiculous. I didn't think I was going to get here this fast. Anyways, what do we got? The purple comet. So I can talk about what we're going to be doing here. So this mission is not really that bad. There's more than 100 purple coins. And you are and you are on a time limit that's very very um very very laid back time limit. Luigi's purple coins. As you can saw, we saw Mario. As you can saw, as you can see, we saw Mario in the last mission. Now we're seeing Luigi. Very very nice. Now the hardest part about this mission is making platforms to get back, because the star is going to appear right here, and you're going to want to make sure you have platforms ready for when you get back here, because if you like clear all of this off you're screwed and you won't be able to get over here so make sure just to collect as many as you can like I mentioned there's more than a hundred just be careful don't make too many platforms so that you can't get back because if you can't get back you can't get the star and you have to do it all over again 
that's probably the hardest part about this mission. I, the, the collecting the hundred coins is not the problem. It's the it's just finding a way back to the star. That's the problem. So I'm just gonna take my I'm just gonna be really cautious and um, keep some platforms so I can get back. Um, I'm just gonna go for the ones that I can see that, I, that are easy and that I don't really have to worry about. Um, the green platforms disappear while these ones just make flippies. They just flip around and you can still land on them at least. That's good. Ah, oh, this song is still so cool. Okay, I'm not getting those bunches of Actually, yes, I can. No, I'm not. So I feel like if I'm gonna get those, I'm gonna fail. So let's just uh, do this. See, I don't care about this one so much, this particular uh, area, because. Actually, yes, I do kind of care. Because I need to. You know, I'll, I'll try it. See, uh, let's go over here. <laughs> oh, man. At least we almost have 100. That's good. And, oh, God. Um. I'm just gonna scrap the hundred here at this point. <laughs> Shoot. Hope I can get back. I mean, I made some platforms. Oh, I need freaking 90. I have 92. Oh god, don't fall in the freaking poison either, because you're pretty much as good as dead if you do that. Alright, one more coin. Okay, so as you can see, we have a lot of platforms to get back. Usually, I would. The first time I did this, I cleared all of these platforms and I got screwed because of that. So, one tip, if I could say a tip, is to make a platform for yourself to get back. Because that's, what, like I said, the star... I said this like 500 times! Dude, you don't need to repeat yourself 500 times. But I guess I have a little problem with that. I do, I know I tend to repeat myself in my videos, and in real life. I don't know why. Um, maybe I just don't really remember me saying it before, so I have to keep saying it to make myself remember something. And, I don't know, people say I do that a lot. Even in real life, so if I do repeat myself in my videos, I solely apologize. Um, it's not, it's, I don't know if it's something that's wrong with me or if it's just, I don't even know what I'm talking, I don't even know. Bouncing down Cake Lane. Oh, there has to be that one mission in a really great galaxy that just I don't like, and this is that one. Because it's basically all. It revolves all around the spring form, and that's what I don't like about this one. Pretty much. Even the bosses, uh, you have to use the spring form. This is a boss stage, by the way. And it's not that hard. It's kind of like what we saw in uh, Gold Leaf. Collect those starches and the spoons! And the orange and the... Oh, no, that's an orange. Yeah, see, this is a spring Mario stage, I suppose. You can actually bounce off these. That's really cool. <laughs> It's like a wall jump, but it's not. You know, this chocolate thing on this, um, on that cake-looking thing looks like lava, and I remember the first time I got scared if I landed on it, I would get hit. Alright, this one's really easy to do. And I think I want this coin. This giant coin that gets star bits, maybe? Yes, they do. Oh, hello. Oh, I was supposed to drop down. I thought I was gonna miss that for a second. Look at all the cake. It's a lemon cake, you know? I think I mentioned in, um, a uh, I already got, oh my god. <laughs> I think I mentioned in the Sweet Sweet Galaxy in the, when we first started playing this game in the first few episodes. Uh, I think I mentioned that I love cake, but I can't eat a lot of it because it gets sickening to me after a while, and I, I don't know. I, I have, I have a little bit of, it's a, uh, I don't have much tolerance for that much sugar. I can't eat that much, or else I get kind of sick of it after a while. But I can eat ice cream! <laughs> I can eat ice cream forever! <laughs> I love ice cream. And actually, around here, we have this local ice cream shop called, uh, called Frosty Freeze. And I'm telling you, I, I feel bad for the people- I, I feel bad for you guys, because you guys don't have this place. This place, in my opinion, has the best ice cream out of anywhere I've ever been. It is so good. Oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe I just did that. Oh god! Lollipops. Man, this is just making me hungry for candy. <laughs> oh, I love candy. But I haven't had it in a while because I'm trying to, like, watch what I eat. Because I feel bad about myself if I have any of those really fat, sugary foods like candy, or cake, or donuts and such. Well, we can just get here and let's just quickly start it. And go! Now, where's our boss stage? Where's our boss located? This is a pretty long mission because it <laughs> it leads up to the boss, so... 
Wait, is there a prankster comet in this stage? I know I don't remember what the prankster comet in this stage is. I think it's a it's not a speed run, is it? I don't think so. I don't remember. Okay, we have to blow up these candles here with the spinning. And that will cause something to happen. For the longest time I didn't know what I was supposed to do on here, and when I was playing it last time I didn't remember I didn't remember either. But all you have to do is just blow up the candles. And it creates a launch star. Oh, they don't really tell you that. Uh, it's kind of surprising that, that the game doesn't tell you that either. Okay, I think this is the boss stage. Yeah, I'm just collecting a lot of star bits in this galaxy. Yeah, this is like the one in Gold Leaf. It's not that hard. It's just he's really high up, and you have to use the spray form to actually reach it, which can, <laughs> which can be a little bit of a, yeah, yeah, which can be a little a little bit of a problem if you're not used if you're not really happy about the uh, Spring Mario's controls like I'm not. Okay, let's just try it. Hopefully we can have an easy time. Of course, he's gonna spit out these electrical things, and if you get hit by those, you turn back to regular Mario, and you have to go back and get the Spring Form again. Alright, come on, dude. I can get... Oh my god. Can I get on you? Please? Oh my god. So you have to do this three times before he goes down. And, wow, that's two. Come on, you gotta make this a little bit harder, man. No? Okay, make it really freaking easy to beat. Why not? I'll, I'll accept that. I will. Don't worry about me, sir. I will accept this. Alright, let's go ahead and get our star. Uh, come on. Get- Oh, there's a 1-up up there. I didn't even see that. Well, I'm not gonna get the 1-up, because I don't feel- I feel like I don't need them, but... There we go! So I believe we have two more missions left to do. One of them being the Prankster Comet, which we haven't seen yet, and the other one being the uh, Hungry Luma mission. So hopefully the Comet appears, because I don't know how many uh, star bits the Hungry Luma actually wants for us to do, for us to get for this man, this fat man. Okay, let's see. Is there a Prankster Comet in this one? I'm honestly, I honestly don't remember. I, ugh, crap, there has to be. There just can't be one. I must be dumb, because I'm forgetting it. Mario meets Mario. Back in here, they do the Hungry Luma. I think we've seen it already. We saw where he was, so... I could just cut away to it. But at the same time... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to cut away to where we find the Hungry Luma again. So I will see you guys in just a moment. Okay, so we're on the planet where the Hungry Luma met, where the Hungry Luma was. I don't know why I cut there, because it's really not that far. Okay, so we have 50 star bits. I think that's what we need. I don't. We don't need much. So he is actually up here. All right, Hungry Luma. I believe you need 50, but I'm not sure. You could need more. Yeah, he needs 50. So I got just that much on the way here. There's a lot of star bits to grab while you're flying through launch, the launch start at the beginning. So. That's basically your bulk of them right there. Alright, so what do we got, Mr. Man? What are you going to transform yourself into? Oh, I remember what the prankster comment was just from this mission. Oh, I remember. Ah, oh, yep, I do. We'll discuss that when we get there. Alright, for this, you're just going to want to collect all of... You just want to hit all of the blue switches to make them yellow, and that's basically what you have to do. And the fact that they're really spread out makes me kind of sad because they're just spread out and it takes a little while to do. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. There's one under here. Then there's going to be one on another side of another platform, like over there. <sighs> it is so hot in this room! It is so hot in here. It's like 90 degrees without this heater on, without this AC being on. That's sad. Well, it's not really sad, but it's 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 death. It's what that is. So you're gonna want to go over here and just just basically walk around. It's gonna lead you to a giant circle because there's gonna be a series of three switches on on each one of these areas that you need to go to. Just basically just keep walking and you'll see them. I'm just going to long jump to make my trip a little quicker here. Uh, there's another one here. There's a pipe that leads you back to the middle of the area if you need to go back. But I personally am not going to use it. Alright, so let's go ahead and get hit by that. Yeah, that works. Alright, go. Oh, this takes a little while to do. 
I didn't remember it taking this long. Oh, there's more. Oh! Where could there be more? We already hit the ones down there. Well, that's odd. What did I- did I miss one somewhere? I probably did. I- where's that pipe that leads back? Or is it over here? Oh, that's one I just hit. Oh my god, am I- OH MY GOD! Why am I getting hit? Am I lost? I think I'm lost. No, don't get hit. Please. Please. Oh god, no. OH MY GOD! I- Oh, that's so stupid! Okay, I think I missed one over here. I think that's the one I missed. Because I don't think we got that one underneath there, so... I'm gonna go ahead and collect all... I think that's the last one I missed, so I'm gonna... Actually, no, I'll just, I'll just stay in here. There's not much. <laughs> I mean, if this is a long video because I failed at that one part where I was almost at the end of, then you know what? I'll take it. Is there not one here? Really? Or is it up there? Yeah, there is one. Am I dumb? Did I already get that one, though? No, I didn't. Wow, I'm stupid. Alright, so uh, with that, we can just go... Hurry up and wait for these guys to hurry up and do their thing. Oh my god, I'm so boring right now. There's not much to talk about. I mean, we're almost finishing up this mission. I have already complained about the heat in my... Holy crap! Alright, I guess that's not going to work out as well as I imagined. You're just going to want to do this, I suppose. Just go over here, because the gravity will allow you to get over here. Now I believe... Oh, I think we missed these! Yeah, 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 we did. Stupid big thwomp guy, you need to go away because I don't care what you have to say. Okay, so now we can go around and circul circulate. Uh, circulate? I don't even know what I'm trying to say. We can go around and get these other switches that we've already collected and get our star because I think those are the last ones we need. Okay, so. So, nothing's really happened today. This is kind of. Um, I don't like this mission. I'm gonna complain about that. I don't really like this mission because it's just a, it's just long and boring. Did I really miss it? Oh wait, I probably have to go on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go up here and then. Go up here. Let's not die again. That sounds great, right? Jeez. And there you go. And the star is gonna appear right there. Holy crap, man. All right, let's go. All right, these things at least stop for you, so that's just great. Alright, so let's go ahead and collect our star, and, um, you know what? Let's continue a little bit longer. There's one more comet, or there's one more mission left in this galaxy, and that's the purple comet. Uh, the, the, uh, prankster, <clears throat> the prankster comet, excuse me. So, you know what, we're just gonna go and continue on until we can finish that. Okay, so I made the comet appear because it didn't appear when I tried to go to it this last time, so I just went off screen to call that guy to make the comet show up. <clears throat> so the, there's a there's the second fast foe comet in the game, fast foes of toy time. Basically, this is the secret mission, but the guys are faster, and that's it. This might be a little problematic for you guys, but it's really the same mission for me, so shouldn't be that much of a problem. And I finally figured out something to talk about while we're doing this again for the second time. Uh, I can't stand kids. I can't stand little kids. And you know why? Because they freaking scream out my window for no reason. <laughs> it's so annoying. Because when I was off screen, I heard these kids like freaking out for no reason. Like, hey, you stupid mother blah 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 blah. Swears, and I'm not even gonna say. These kids are like eight or nine and they're swearing? Who taught these par who taught these kids how to talk or something? Cause obviously they failed. I mean I'm not one to like talk about oh how to raise kids, but honestly, like like they're swearing at age like nine or or eight or something, and that's just dumb and I just freaking died again. Okay, so I was discussing why like who would teach who would teach their kids how to swear like that? Like honestly? Like, that's just, that's just horrible. Kids swearing at this early age? I mean, when I was a kid, if I were to swear in front of my parents, I'd get slapped. I'd get spanked or something, but honestly, I mean, I don't approve of spanking anyway. I mean, that's not, I don't, I'm, not I'm not the one that would hit my kids if I ever have any. But honestly, like, kids these days are just awful. Like, they don't know anything about respect. 
I mean, they're like eight or nine, and they're swearing. I mean, Satan, all these nasty things. And I remember I was at a carnival, and I don't even think I should even be talking about what they said. Um, all right. So I was at this. I was at. Remember, I, I, I think I mentioned I was at the. I was at a carnival one of these days before, and um, we were on this ride that spins like a pendulum, but it also spins on the ride as well. And I remember this perfectly because it was me and my me and my friends were looking at each other like, what the hell? Like, who taught these kids this? So there was this kid on this ride that we were on. And he was like six or seven or I don't know, maybe eight or nine or I don't even know how old he was, but after the ride was over, he said some something so racist and horrible that I can't even begin to mention it in this video because it's that bad. Honestly, kids need to be taught a lesson or something, cause I don't even know what our next what our generation is gonna be in the future. I mean if, if they're bad now, I'm I'm afraid for the future. I really am. It's bad. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to end this video off here because we pretty much finished the rest of Toy Time Galaxy. Am I right? I am correct on this. Oh no, that means next episode I have to do Seed Slide Galaxy. No! Alright, you know what? I'm going to just troop it. I'm going to suck it up. And I guess I will see you next time for some more Super Mario Galaxy.